guys, I'm Tim, and welcome to the Mr. Maple Show. Here on the Mr. Maple Show, we bring out daily content for you here on YouTube. Make sure you give us a subscription. We'd really appreciate it. And smash that like button. When you smash that like button, more people see it. We really appreciate it. We put a lot of hard work into it, so we appreciate you doing your part and helping us get our videos out there. And as always, comment in the comment section and shop on MrMaple.com. We're MrMaple.com, a mail order business that ships directly to your door. We do over a thousand varieties of Japanese maples, and we put a lot of content on that about it on this YouTube channel, but we also make those trees available so you can grow them in your garden as well. So sign up for our weekly emails on MrMaple.com. Today, I'm bringing you an amazingly variegated Japanese maple. This is one that I just love so much. Today, we're gonna to be talking about Acer Palmatum Eye Candy, and that's spelled I. K-A-N-D-I, but it's pronounced like I candy. This is a selection by one of our good friends and mentors, Talon Buckholtz. He introduced the Ghost series. We're talking First Ghost, Purple Ghost, Geisha Gone Wild, Japanese Princess, amazing selection of cultivars he's introduced. In fact, we did a whole podcast on the trees that he's introduced, the top 50. You can go check that out as well. But this plant is simply amazing. It's a pink Japanese maple. I mean, pink in the spring. We're here in March of 2023 at Maplewood Gardens in East Flat Rock, North Carolina. Things leafed out a little bit earlier this spring. And because of that, we're being able to enjoy these spring colors even earlier. Now, eye candy is a Higashiyama style. It's said that this was found as a chance seedling from Alpenweiss, a selection by Bob Baltzer. But this plant, selection by Talon Buckholtz, has more pink to it and really just brightens up this early spring landscape. The reticulated variegation on this is very, very prominent right now. And what I mean by that is you can see the pink on the outside of the leaf, a little bit of cream on the interior, and then the green veining. This captures your eye. If you're a photographer, this is a plant that is simply amazing because you can go in and really capture each unique Lee, a variegated leaf that's going to just make a statement. This is a tree you want to plant somewhere up close where you're going to be walking in the walk near a walkway because when you see this plant and you get up close you're captivated by that uniquely styled variegation. Now if we came back and checked out this tree in you know mid to late spring that pink is going to be gone but you're going to see a creamy white variegation where that pink was and then the green veining. So this plant is exceptional in this, throughout the spring with some spectacular variegation. Late summer, that creamy color goes to a creamy green. And then in the fall, you get oranges and bold reds. Eye candy, this is a showstopper. This is a plant that you can use in your garden. It's a plant that will end up getting 10 to 12 feet in 15 years. So it's a, a pretty good, vigorous grower. Here at the, our gardens at Maplewood Gardens, we like to put a lot of trees out in the landscape that you can come and see this. We often have our open house on Memorial Day each and every year, and you can walk around the gardens and see these specimens, and then go back to the nursery and pick out the trees that you want. Everything about this plant is super showy, from the variegation to the unfurling of the buds that are just that really nice pink. I mean, the variegation is spectacular. Now, one thing to note is that on young plants, if you have a one gallon, they may not show variegation as well if they're left indoors or in a cold frame versus being outside. This is a plant that likes to leaf out slowly and that's when you really get the best variegation. Also, if you're over fertilizing your Japanese maple, you may get more green in the leaf and less pink. So that's something to keep in mind. But the good thing is about eye candy is this tree, while it might not always show variegation because of environmental factors, this tree does not revert, which is really awesome. Even the summer flushes during the summer may come out solid green, but those the following year are going to come back to this amazing pink reticulated style variegation that you see right now. I love what eye candy does out in the landscape. It brings a pink color that looks almost like a flower into the foliage. So this is something you can really enjoy out there, and it's a tree you should definitely have in your garden. Now on MrMaple.com, if this tree is currently sold out, you can click notify me and plug your email address in there. And when you plug your email address in there and click send, 
we'll notify you when this tree becomes available again. That's a great way to do it for any of the plants that we have sold out on Mr. Maple. But eye candy is one of those plants that sells out really quickly each and every time we list it. It's an amazing tree you should definitely have in your garden. I really appreciate you watching today's cultivar highlight on Acer Palmatum eye candy. The pink reticulated Japanese maple that is just a showstopper. Take care, God bless, and have an awesome day.